happy Sunday, happy Sunday, let me get myself together, I am back, I am back, welcome back Sunny. welcome back, happy Sunday, D, welcome back baby, I heard you was on vacation, I'm glad that we are here, I'm looking at the light in my hair, I noticed I got brown and black hair, so I'm about to take care of that honey, that's natural right there, hey look, Sundays with Sunny is in effect, I have this platform set for Teen Summit. However, I am very honest with you all in saying not a teen nor a young adult is here. Now, one thing that I realized about being an adult is you have to be consistent. So whether they come today or they come next week or they come a month from now, as long as I'm able to have the platform for Teen Summit, I will show up. I am going to be the one consistent thing they can count on on Sundays at one o'clock. If y'all wanna come in here without no cameras and just wanna shoot the mess with Sunny, that's fine. It's Sunday. If um y'all wanna come in here and eat something special, let me know. Right now, Sunny is going, trying to work her way to vegetarian vegan. So if you young adults and teens got an easy way for me to do that, I am welcome. I am here for suggestions. This platform is not for adults. Let me say it again. This platform is not for adults. I am the only adult, nine times out of 10, that's really gonna have a say so. As soon as I can get a young Sonny here, as soon as I can get a new, a young DJ Glam here, I will have it here. If you know somebody who got me in them and they young, bring them to me. If they looking like DJ Glam, spin the wheels like DJ Glam, Bring them to me. If you know any youngins out here that just got a voice and want to say something, bring them to me. I am telling you, they are in great hands. Look at my hands. They are in great hands. There is not anybody who's ever had. Well, there is. But when it comes to the kids, these hands are great. This platform is not for adults. I have an adult platform on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock that is strictly for adults. This platform is for my teen and young adults. I want them to come in here and get a world what they got. I want the DMV teens and young adults to do what nobody else is doing. I am giving you an opportunity to do what nobody else is doing when it comes to teens and young adults. Please go fact check me. Go in the land and see what a podcast is and see if it's any young adults or teen running it. Check in California, see if it's any younger teens or adults doing it. DMV, we got a chance to set ourselves apart again. I set myself apart on the record, but I'm giving you all the opportunity to set yourself apart, young teens and adults. When uh, when it comes to uh, any adults that want to come and talk to our teens, not a problem at all. I would like a diverse array of adults that's going to come and talk to our teens. When I say an array of adults, I want me some Ethiopians in here. I want me some Spanish people in here. I want me some gay, lesbians, and bisexuals in here. I want some strippers in here. I might even want a drug dealer in here. If you, if anybody know what Rayful Edmonds is, tell him to come down here and see me on Sundays because maybe he can help save a teen's life out here. Hey, the mayor of the Green Line is on my line. Hello, sir. I want bartenders in here. I want the trash man in here. If you're going to come and talk to my teens and young adults, you have to have an aspect of realness about you. Not all adults made it into the government. Not all adults was lucky enough to have their parents. Hey, I'm going to shift you up some money so you can set yourself up. Right now, we have adults that's out here that's career bartenders, career servers. We have adults out here that's been working for the trash company for 25 plus years and have great benefits and money. So if you are an adult, that is here for the change of our youth, I welcome you. You do not get a, this is not your platform. Let's get this straight, this is not your platform. So it's open, it is Sunday with Sunnies. Again, one thing that I will be is consistent. I will be more, probably more consistent than they mamas and they daddies. I'm here on Sundays from one to 2 p.m. My studio is open. D is here. We, we got a friend with us today. I don't know his name yet, but I get to know him before the end. We got a friend here. We open. You all want to talk adults? Y'all talk to me on Thursday. You want to talk about changing young adults and teens' lives? Then you come talk to me on Sunday. And um, it just so happened that I went to church this morning. Shout out Pastor Q and the World Movers. Shout out Pastor Q and the World Movers. 
um, I went to church this morning, and as I listened to Pastor Q's message, um, it had me to think about what this is that I'm doing here. And what I realize is, I may not be the popular vote. There is somebody in this city that's that get more likes than me, that get more loves than me, that get more shares than me. What I'm trying to figure out is they ain't doing this right here. Um, I got an opportunity. I can easily sit here and tell you all everything about my life for the past seven days, maybe 14 days because I wasn't here last week, but I choose not to. Um, I got some activities, some things for the kids for the summer. Um, I'm just chilling. The platform is made. The platform is made, but like I said, the show must always go on. I am a star, and I'm telling you right old bucks, if one thing don't work this way, I'm going to work it this way. So right now I'm working it this way. I'll be back here next Sunday, though. If you want to bring them, bring them. Bring your kids. D, turn the music up, baby. I'm a dance. We're going to go to break, y'all. I'll be right back. It's Team Summit, but for real, it's Sunday with Sunny. It's Sunday with Sunny, baby. Yeah, we got Make sure we hydrate. Uh, if you got an extra couple dollars, maybe buy a few extra bottles of water and um, give them to your homeless people. Hello, Keisha. Hello, love. Hello, baby. Um, if you extra water, I can't stress it enough. It does not have to be Fiji. I'm working on my own set, so Fiji cut me a check. Don't you worry about what I'm doing. You worry about what you're gonna do. You can go get them any kind of water. We need water out here. Um, it's been an easy week for me. I've, I've jumped into some great things, um, and I'm going to continue to jump this week into some even better things. Uh, it was nice to go to church. D, take me down with the music, babe. So, uh, I went to church this morning, and I haven't been with my World Movers family in a minute. And today, I was glad that I went because it got me in a different spirit. It got me in a different mode for the week. And... It got me to thinking a lot about just being an adult and um, being able to have so many friends and older people that want to tell you how you can do things. But what I realize is teenagers and young adults need the same thing. However, the way that we deliver the message is very important. Um, shout out Pastor Q again. I appreciate that. I need to sit home and, and write some things out as to why I want to do what I'm doing here. And I had to think about it long and hard. And the overall thing is, I know that all adults just don't have a way with children. They really don't. And some of us are gifted to have a way. And I have been gifted with a whole lot of things. But one of the things I am most proud of is that I am gifted when it comes to dealing with people, kids. And I just really, really wanted this platform for them. Um, it is not going to stop violence. It is not 
going to stop them from talking shit to their parents. It's not going to stop them from having attitudes. None of that shit is going to change. But what will change is their outlook on life. They may be willing to give you more of a chance to talk to them if they have a platform that they could talk and do their own thing. So, again, 18 Summit, if these kids get to running up here right now, they are more than welcome to come on in here and push me out the way. Uh, I am okay with that. Uh, other than that, I'm going to get into some business as usual. How about that? Uh, shout out Anthony Simmons, who is my first nephew ever. His birthday is today, 7792. Shout out Anthony Simmons. I love you on purpose, my dude. Uh, also, we got a B&B Savage, whose birthday is today as well. Twin, happy birthday, baby girl. I hope you all blow out the candles and big blessings to you over the year. Um, Fourth of July was this weekend. I mean, well, this week, weekend. I live in Southeast. They are still lighting fireworks. But I will say this. We have the best display. The National Mall has nothing on South Southeast. So maybe next year, instead of everybody circling around everywhere else, maybe we'll all come together at the park on Mississippi Avenue and we do it big. How about that? Bring your hot dogs, your hamburgers, bring your dogs. You know what I'm saying? We go down Mississippi Avenue. And we just do us the way we do us. Everybody be prepared for the heat. You already know it's going to be hot. Bring extra water. And we just go out there and fun it up. Maybe have some microphones. We can shoot the shit and stuff like that. I'm with it. What would you like? How y'all doing? How's everybody? It's Sunday, baby. Yes, yeah, the mother that she done walked up in here. Y'all know I done came up here to listen vision. I'm back up here to listen vision on Sundays. I done came back home. So for sure my mother comes and sits with me. Why we teen summit. Sometimes I tend to feel like I'm the teen when she in there. I was a good teenager, though. I will say that. Uh, topic of the day. Thought about it after talking to a couple young adults in the lift. Uh, do our teenagers and young adults trust their parents? Again, do our teenagers and young adults, do they trust their parents? Y'all, I am going to show you a video from a young soldier. Rest in peace, Big Benji, 22nd, legendary. I'll be right back. It's sunny. Sundays was sunny. Huh? Hey. Big Benji in this motherfucker, man. Hey, hey, hey. Stay down and we're showing no fit. I pay the game like Monopoly. like Monopoly. You better not step on my property. I'm a tax a nigga, it's a free robbery. Why you watching? You know it ain't stopping me. I'm with this shit, so I don't want hit no copper. Oh, cool with this stick, I ain't tryna do no bob and weave. You don't wanna see your family grieve. Stay down and we're showing no fit. I pay the game like Monopoly. You better not step on my property. I'm a tax a nigga, it's a free robbery. Why you watching? You know it ain't stopping me. I'm with this shit, so I don't want hit no copper. Oh, cool with this stick, I ain't tryna do no bob and weave. You don't wanna see your family grieve. Oh, cool with this stick, I ain't tryna do no bob and weave. Bitch, hold with 30 to stitch your bitch. I got a feeling they didn't get the message Put the press on them, I gave them some nips My bitch went bad, she found it, she met us I put the pedal in the metal, bitch I'm in the ghetto, walking with the glitch I could do better, but I'm in your bitch She could do better, but she thinks she slick Little bitch, come give me your reason I got that bag and I blow up, bitch You don't want your family leave grieving Rest in peace, rest in peace I wanted to uh, make sure I play a lot of his videos Because he is no longer here And I also want you all to know That he is a young adult and he once was a teenager. And again, we are basically trying to figure out an avenue to not necessarily fix a whole lot of stuff, but let's see if we can create new relationships and bonds with our young adults and teens. Uh, they do not have to be young adults or teens that's in your home. Sometimes you can make more of an impact with people that don't live with you. And that's just being truthfully honest. Um, Question of the day, do young teens and uh, do teens and young adults, do they trust their parents? Um, it made me question, it made me bring the question up because I remember one of the young guys was in my car and the way that he spoke to his mom over the phone, you could tell there was no trust. And I can only imagine being a teenager and not trusting the person that put you here on earth. Now, most of us may have had an absentee parent. And 
in the absentee parent, you still had trust. I'm only speaking for myself. My mom raised me. However, I still trusted my dad. It didn't matter if I didn't see him for one week, two years, five years. I still had a trust in him. These kids today don't have a trust in their parents. And you can see it because nine times out of 10, they the ones that selling dope or selling single cigarettes so they can help pay the rent. If you trusted your parent, you wouldn't do it. If you trusted your parent enough to say, hey, she gonna have dinner cooked for me on Sunday, we gonna have Sunday dinner, my clothes will be washed. Nine times out of 10, you want to go to school and be an upstanding citizen. But if those things are not happening, it's because you don't trust your parent. And shit, your parent may not trust you. And that's what um, the dialogue begins. Uh, we see things in our kids, and I think sometimes as parents, we do not want to acknowledge that we see them. Let me be truthfully honest. If you got a lazy daughter, she lazy. If your son lazy, he lazy. Before the world can tell you about your child, you can tell yourself about your child. A lot of confusion. Let's, let's stop blurring the lines when it comes to kids. I totally understand a lot of us may feel like we have to overindulge our children because we didn't have certain things when we were younger. However, in the overindulging, you should make sure that your child deserves it. For example, you 20 years old, do you deserve for me as your parent to wash your clothes? No. No, indeed. Now, you might deserve it if you're a college student and you're working a part-time job and you being an upstanding citizen. I might have wash your clothes then, but if I know you spend more time in my house than I do, I'm not washing your clothes. Matter of fact, you need to be asking me what um, loads do I need washing. See, there has to stop being a blurred line. When we wonder about violence and we wonder about what these teens and young adults are doing. A lot of the problem comes right from us. See, what I'm not gonna do is overindulge your kid. If your kid is some trash, I'ma tell you your kid is some trash. You know why? Because I would rather I tell you that your kid is some trash opposed to Joe Schmo and them. And you all have to do the same thing. I have no problem making sure my friends are accountable in my life. I have no problems, my friends have no problems making sure I am accountable in their life. How are you making sure your friends are accountable, but you're not making sure your children are accountable? I'm just saying. The peanut, the, the peanut gallery wanted to know. I didn't want to know. The peanut gallery wanted to know. You want to you wanted know how your kids maneuver and why they do certain things? Imagine you. Think about you and what you do. If you only wash clothes once a month, nine times out of ten, your kid is only going to wash clothes once a month unless they just totally opposite from you and i also realized that what parents give out to the world to their friends and to their family members is usually not what it is stop lying on your kids stop lying if your kids some trash your kids some trash what you can say is my kid is some trash but i'm not dumping him in a in a garbage can yet sometimes yes trash stinks if you sit in the house for a while. Trash does stink, but the best part is it's trash, it's just sitting there. Now you go and throw it in the, in the garbage can, then the people gonna take it to wherever they gonna take it and they gonna crush it. So use it in the term of that. If you keep your kid in the mindset, hey, you gotta be accountable for what you're doing because I want you to be a better adult. I'm not gonna throw you in the garbage can so you can go for the system to smack you. The streets to smack you. I'm, I'm just talking to me. I told you, I don't, I don't even wait on nobody to praise the Lord, so you know I, I ain't waiting on nobody for confirmation. What'd you say, Pastor, this morning? Hmm? Come on, hey, it's Teen Summit. It's Sunday was with Sunday. I told y'all the platform is set. If I can't do anything else for teen and young adults, I might be proving a little example to the adults as well. Be consistent, just be consistent. I don't care if I sit here and I shoot the shit with my mother for 20 minutes. So I tell D a good story of last week. Oh, now we got a new intern, Manny. I guess I'll get to know him. The platform is set from the hour of 12 from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., you walk in this door, it is Teen Summit. I don't care if one team come. You know what, they gonna take care of the whole summit. That's how it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? It's made, I will be as consistent as I possibly can. 
If I have something to do, I will let you know before. But nine times out of 10, straight from church, I'm coming right here. The platform is set straight like that. I'm not changing up nothing. If you have something you want to talk to me about, do it. Like, love, and share my video. Somebody might got a teen or a young adult that can do this the way I do this. I mean, and if not, Sonny is definitely willing to teach him. That's the best thing about me. I teach him what I know. Hey, D, play me something, babe. You will go to break. I'll be right back. It's Sundays with Sonny. Talking teens, something we told to do young adults and teenagers. Do they trust their parents? Do they trust them? Do your kids trust you? Are you man or woman enough to tell us? Do they trust you? Look, yesterday, look at this foolishness comedy tour. Sonny did it again. I was your happy hour host. Had a wonderful, wonderful time over there with Tony Parks and comedian Stiletto. Hey, if I can't tell you anything else, there's a lot of local talent out here when it comes to comedy. You all need to get on it. Um, again, there was no way I could be at the comedy show yesterday and not think about teens and young adults. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of young adults and teens that are funny. Um, we should try to make a platform for them. So if you're on this timeline and you got a couple extra dollars, maybe you can put up a little comedy show or something for just teens and young adults. That's it. I, I'm going to give y'all the ideas and let y'all work it out because I be doing a whole lot of stuff. So the ideas that I give y'all, I'm giving it to you because somebody could work it out. I might can't do it. Y'all, the platform is set. It's Teen Summit. Sundays with Sunny. Nothing's complicated about that. Again, no, this is not an adult platform. This is not an adult platform at all. This is all for my teen and young adults. Any adults that come in here, they are talking to them about careers. They are talking to them about life choices. They will not be talking about their brand or what they're about in their adult life. You're not doing that. They are here to talk to my kids about some of the decisions that they have made, good and bad, and some of the decisions that they can probably help our young teens and adults make. So again, if you have anybody that is a makeup artist, stripper, bartender, I'm looking for a trash man, I'm looking for a drug dealer, I'm looking for a party promoter, okay? I'm looking for a spoken word. These are the type of people that I want to come to talk to my teens and young adults. And I want them to do it because these are the careers that people do not think about. These are the careers that these people make a nice money, live a wonderful lifestyle, but people do not Hey, when it's time to go to school and you do the bring your parents to work day, school day, these are the jobs that's not being shown here. Um, so if you know any, hey, 
Bring them, bring them. Teens do not trust their parents if their parents are trying to be younger than them and also trying to be their friends and not their parents. Hmm, Mr. Brown. Hmm, that's a good way of looking at it. These days, the sad part is a lot of the teens and their parents are so close in age and they, you know, we look good. I think, but like my age group looks good. So we so close to their age that and then a lot of times we done missed out too. If, if people are honest, if you in that 40 year old, that 40 to maybe about 47 year old age, we done missed some things. So we try to get it back, especially when the kids get old. I'm with you. I do want to be my kid's friend to a certain degree. I do want to be their friend to a certain degree. But um, I do think the problem is we starting to look better and therefore, I can take her with me to the club because she's 22 years old. When back in the day, me and my mother, we like it wasn't even a thought. It was it was just like the respect levels have changed too. So we, I think sometimes, D, cut me down, baby. I think sometimes we forget that things are totally different from what they were 15, 20 years ago. What these kids have to go through now is totally different from what we have to go through. First off, we did not have the internet to the capacity that we had it. So their influences are no longer coming from the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Their influences are now um, everybody that's on Instagram and Twitter and on TV. So we can't expect for them to react and do the same things that we did because their worlds are totally different. In that, they have seen TV shows, reality shows, where the parent and the mom are cool. And, hey, it looks like a wonderful relationship. Prime example, the Kardashians. I don't think there's not – I don't – look, I, I would want Chris to be my friend too. I mean, like, this is what they have. So we – at the same sense that we feel like, nah, I don't want to be their friends, you know, they got to have some respect for me, we still have to be mindful of their influences. And the Kardashians right now are influencing everybody. I don't care what anybody say. Even if you don't like them, they still influencing you. Um, when it comes to uh, talking to your kids about serious issues, like stop sitting down and, hey, we're going to have a conversation about sex. No, you know what? While we riding down the street, down Georgia Avenue, past the new vegan place, shout out the new vegan, Sonny's on it. Um, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a conversation. It could be because the homeless man is nodding off to the right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find a way to have this be a lesson. You know why he nodding off? He nodding off because he probably a hey, first off he ain't strong. Sometimes you got to just say say what it is. He nodding off because he ain't strong. He weak as a motherfucker. Yeah, it's okay to tell him that. You call them little shithead and motherfuckers any other time, so you might as well call a motherfucker for what he is. You nodding off on the corner, his friends ain't right. You know he ain't had no real friends in his life because his real friends is not going to allow him to be on his corner nodding off, even if he get high. Come on, you better tell your kids something. You got to see. You can you can easily get in the loop just because we a little older. We are in the loop that we can a. Hey, let me tell you something about this boat. I have no problems telling the kids what it is. Hey, you smoke boat, you're going to look ugly. You might die. You're going to get the tripping. You pop an e-pill, you might have great sex. You know what I'm saying? And be up for four days, but you're going to look a mess on that fifth day. And you're going to have an attitude for probably six days. You know, like, tell the kids what it is. Because I, I know I, mine didn't lie to me. And I do a whole lot of things in my life. I do a whole lot of things. Not a lot, Mom. But I do a whole lot. But I know what not to do because of my mom. There was, there's, not a, there's not a drug that's out here that I ain't hip to. It may not sound like, hey, something I want my kid to know. I don't want them to know about no drugs. Well, dummy, yeah, you might want to. Because, you know, when you go to the bars, you know they... Put Mickey's in your drinks and all that. Oh, let me look at that. Oh, that don't look right. There used to be a time we used to say, don't leave your drink. We leave our drinks all over the place. I wish somebody lied and say they don't. You overly grown people don't. 
but our teenagers do. I've seen them. I watch them. Young adults. I'm a bartender. I see them. I watch them. Don't, they quick to say, bartender, can you watch my drink? What if I wasn't who I am? What if I thought this young lady was beautiful enough that she wasn't messing with me, but I wanted her to mess with me? I'm a Mickey or drink. I'm a, e I'm a Molly or drink. Don't, hey, look, you need to start talking to your kids about what is real. Because nine times out of ten, if you tell them the truth and you tell, talk to them like I'm talking to you, talk to them like you talk to your friends, it makes it so much easier. I swear it will prevent a whole lot of headaches. Nah, I know you, you know, I know you're, hey, you jumping down there. What age did you start having sex? You want your daughter to wait till she was married, but you was looking at 14. I'm just talking to me. I'm just talking to me. Common sense. Like, live, common sense. You want your man, you want your sons to be a better man, but have you brought a man to them to show them what a better man is? Just because this man is his father don't mean he's a good man. Every dude that you're dating is not a good man. You know, it's amazing to me how women always can find them somebody to fuck sucking duck. But you can't never find a man to mentor your son. Please tell me how that works. Because before you think you about to do this, you, come on, look out for my young And I don't mean look out for him, you got to buy him shoes or nothing or nothing like that. But, you know, maybe talk to him. Maybe take a walk around the block. But the sad part is he ain't going to do all that because he don't even do that for you. I'm talking to myself, though. I'm just talking to myself. So at the end of the day, I really, th this, this platform here, I, I, I don't know no other way of finessing. And I'm, there, there can't be a finesse with these young adults and teens in 2019. And I think that's the problem. I think we've done enough finessing. So now it's time to just get on in there, get your shovels, and let's just start digging. Your children already show signs of what type of adult they are going to be. Already, they said Jesus died at 13. He was able to live for his sins at 13. So at 13, you pretty much know what type of kids you're dealing with. You know if you're dealing with a lie, a cheat, a bully, a thief, a gay, a straight, a you don't know what, you know what it is. Before these kids get out here in these streets and get to school and they let all these people talk them into doing this and peer pressure this. And a lot of times, dude, you know it don't even be peer pressure. You know, a lot of times kids do what the fuck they want to do because they want to do it. It don't even be because I remember I used to hang with a girl. I, 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 true story. It used to be three of us. I was the only gay one with her. But we were always in the neighborhood with the guys. And what people didn't realize was it was easy for me to get high. I smoke weed. So I got two girls riding with me that's four, that's four to go. And then there's Sonny. Well, Sonny not going to do nothing but stand in the parking lot, smoke Marlboro Ultra Lights, smoke your weed up, and make you laugh. But my two friends was going to take care of the business, if you know what I mean. Let's get grown real quick. Same shit happens right now. The drug's just different. You know what I'm saying? It happens right now. And I remember her grandmother would always blame me. You know, she her grandmother, why you keep hanging out with that dang you know, she gonna get you in trouble. Any, any. Me? It wasn't even me. It was your granddaughter. You better do. And you know what's funny? She's still the same person. She grew up, but she, she still got a lot of the same traits. And I always remember to this day, her grandmother was one of those people that really made me want to make sure I wasn't a statistic or I wasn't who they thought I was going to be. Her grandmother rings in my head a lot because I remember her grandmother blaming me for her doing her. I don't have no control over that girl bad. I can't tell you what's going on. I know what's going on with me. I'm smoking these Marlboro lights and they weed up in the parking lot. 
Be real with your kids. Tell your kids some of your real life stories and tell them and don't leave out the details because nine times out of ten, that's what they need to know because you've probably been in two or three situations that's close to them. So instead of acting like you ain't never been there or act like you ain't never smoked nothing or act like you ain't never d d screwed with the wrong man, you still screwing the wrong man now. I'm going to get off this mic because I might tell the truth to somebody, but I'm just talking to me. Hey, look, it's Sundays with Sunny. The platform made, though, for Team Summit. D, take me to break. long show that's set up for my teens and young adults. I will keep this platform here as long as I can. I will be consistent in knowing that from one to two, I am here for teens and young adults, however I have to. I will say this, a lot of you all have uh, kids that do little music videos on YouTube and uh, stuff like that. If you want your kids video to be played up here for Teen Summit on Sundays, um, DM me. And I will gladly play your kids' videos and stuff like that that's on YouTube. Um, I'm going to listen to what I listen to until you all help me out. The one thing that I do know is that I will be consistent. And I do know the show must always go on. Now, what I am trying my hardest not to do is do what I know the flesh of me wants to do with this hour. Let me say that. The flesh of me wants to do with this hour. But I'm somewhere else. So the only thing that I, I got to do, I, I got to be a servant in my way. And um, I'm learning that even though being a servant is not all, you're not always going to have somebody to serve. How about that? You're not always going to have somebody to serve. But I'm going to keep this platform open. I am going to keep it open on purpose because I have my own platform on Thursdays that I can do whatever I want to with it. I don't have any kids in my house. The kids that are attached to me are okay. I'm doing this shit for your kids. I'm doing this shit for your life. I'm good in my life. On purpose, I thank y'all. I thank you on purpose. Make sure you keep the conversation open with your children. Keep the conversation open with your kids. If you cannot, I am here. I will make sure we, hey, middle ground, somewhere, somehow, uh, on purpose. Have a wonderful week on purpose. God loves you. If you do not wait on the Lord or anybody to praise the Lord, don't wait on nobody to laugh, smile, or give a fuck. How about that? Have a good day, babies. I'm